Hi, I'm Josh Rankins and this is Dave Ray with BaseballThinkTank.com. Today we're going to show you an exercise to promote scapular stability, upward rotation, downward rotation, and integrity and health of the shoulder. So I'm going to have Dave perform what's called a Blackburn exercise. We're going to show you a step-by-step -step version and then we're going to show you how to put it together and perform it in a more dynamic manner. So step one, I'm going to have Dave or have the athlete Go face down, the bench works very well. You can see his position, he's got his chin just off the end of the table so he can remain in a neutral cervical position. So he's gonna take his hands behind his back, this step one, and he's going to basically push and retract the shoulder blades, squeeze them together, okay? That promotes retraction and uh, a little bit of downward rotation. The step two, I'm going to have Dave simply slide his hands up to the small of his back. We're going to get a little bit more internal rotation of the humerus. Step three, he's going to bring his hands down basically to his sides and then he's just going to work a couple pulses. He's going to work retraction and protraction of the scap. Step four, he's going to move up into a little bit of flexion, abduction, and he's going to begin, you can see how he begins to externally rotate the humerus. The next step is going to go up to the next plane of motion. Now he's at about 110 degrees of flexion. He's in fully external rotation. And now we're going to work upward and downward rotation. So I'm going to cue Dave to reach as far out in front of him as he can, which is going to get the, the scapula here to upwardly rotate and elevate a bit. Then he's going to downwardly rotate and retract again, almost like you're performing a wall slide against the wall. And then he's going to reach out one more time, way out in front of him, promotes again upward rotation of that scapula, gets some serratus anterior activity, and then he's going to come back down, hands to the small of the back. Now, once the athlete can perform those in a, in a safe and of course controlled manner, and they have the scapular strength and control, then he's going to put it all together. So now what he's going to do is he's going to start with his hands down low, he's going to retract the shoulder blades, he slides the hands up to the small of his back, then he begins to bring them out, he pulses, then he goes up and he begins to externally rotate, keeps going up to reach as far as he can forward, brings them back down in downward rotation, and then he goes back up, and then back down to the beginning. I'm going to have him perform one more and watch what a good job he does by keeping these shoulder blades retracted the entire time, okay? So he's going to go down, retracts, internal rotation, comes out to the sides, begins to go up, externally rotates the humerus, and then he goes up into that reach. Now he's still retracting there, back up again, and back down. The dynamic version of the Blackburn, great exercise for scapular rotation, both upward and downward, essential for the throwing athlete. Again, this is Josh and Dave with Baseball Think Tank. You can check out more exercises like this in our new ebook, Baseball Movement Essentials, found at baseballthinktank.com and therankincenter.com.